Hi, it's me Burbingish, and welcome to the Alita Progression. And before I even start the video, I'm gonna just have to say, behave yourself in the comments, please. Well, anyways, I feel like this build is gonna be kind of an obvious one. You know, I wonder what oath I'm gonna go. Ooh. But I am gonna have to go Shadow Heroes Blade because some of the stat requirements for Alita is just kind of crazy. Like, I was looking at some of the stuff I would need for the build, right? And, you know, obviously, Vision Shaper has 50 charisma right there. Boom, 50 points gone. And I look at her outfit, 40 intelligence, like what? Like this is the most mid armor set known to man, I am not putting 40 intelligence on my build for this. But uh, since I'm doing an Alita build, that's kind of necessary. <laughs> you know, I wanted to go like, light weapon or something, maybe uh, maybe daggers. But I'm gonna be honest, I, I just don't feel like running 50 light weapon. It just, it's just not like a fun idea. Ooh, blood iron. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, I'm just gonna put that right there, take that. I will go with Dark Blade because it's good for our early game training. And uh, some of you guys might be thinking, wait, didn't Valakis already do this like four months ago? And uh, I do not care, oh, no, I'm just kidding. I did ask him though, and he said, yeah, he's cool. Plus, it's not like you can really just copyright a whole character in Deep Oaken, like that, that belongs to Archmage. And, you know, the rest of the dev team, but, uh, you know, Archmage is the only one that really interacts with the community much. Also, I'm gonna be completely honest, I have never played proper Vision Shaper in my life. And by proper Vision Shaper, I meant actually getting the moves. The only times I ever used this thing was just for, you know, the cool eye. When Vision Shaper was, like, the only cool oaf there was beside, like, you know, any other oaf, Corrupted Owls were still very scary to, you know, normal people. So I was like, I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. And I just didn't. So I'm gonna get my first genuine Vision Shaper experience. Ooh. Wait. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna freeze this and then take Charismatic Cast. I wonder if I should go Valve Mastery. Maybe go for like a dual progression or something. This is a pretty good time to go Shadow Heroes Blade. They recently just buffed it. And made the only part that was bad about it the crit good apparently uh, i'm not sure i don't i don't really keep up with shadow cast news there we go i am gonna go for the 40 intelligence because i do need that armor and also i just don't want to train it off trial it's such a pain uh whispers from the deep i'm not sure if clutching shadow is good i never really used it much i know there is that other shadow grab that is just comically overpowered you know, like the little one that go like, whomp, whomp, and then you like, what? Ah. I was not paying attention. I thought like a charco was gonna spawn or something. Uh huh, uh huh. Light speed reflexes. That's always nice. I'll be honest, Agamasu, you're kind of selling my hand here. I do not want this talent. Do I take Vow of Mastery? That is the question because this thing opens up like the biggest tree of cards ever. And like, this is gonna clutter up my hand if I do decide to take it. And yeah, whatever, I might as well do a Vow Mastery thing. Maybe I can uh, try and get some random freshies to make a Vow Mastery with me. I'll take Sacrifice, that sounds like a funny command. I rarely make Vow Mastery builds, so this is gonna be cool. I'm not gonna change my build though, I'm not gonna get 75 Charisma just for live. There we go. You know, I used to think this trial was so hard just because I couldn't multitask. Let's see, what do I need? Fortitude training. Alright, let's go. It's gonna kinda suck if I have to wait for winter to go farm for a Shadow Heroes Blade. Because, you know, I do want to get videos out on time. Yeah, the last, uh, the last progressions upload schedule wasn't so good. But I guess if it comes to that, I'll just go, you know, trade for one or something. I'm gonna get a dumbbell. Uh, what else do I need? No, I guess that's it. Wow, I really do not need a lot this time. I need a bit of XP, so let me go, uh, you know, get a bounty real quick. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Alright, cool. Wow, I do not have much of a choice here. Wait, one star with Jet Striker. This guy's probably just echo farming. What the hell? Yo, this is friendly fire, bruh. I wasn't even recording, bro. I was just trying to find a bounty. What are you doing? Oh, one hit. Oh, two hits. Oh, three hits. Yo, bro, lost his parry key. Oh, dodge. Oh, uh, come on. I missed that shot. I should probably use my, uh, whatever this is. 
Darkblade, yes. I remember the names. I'm very good at name remembering. Bro, <laughs> this guy just gave up. I don't know what you're up to. <laughs> okay, man. Well, that was a most regular interaction in Deep Woken. Oh, and he's back. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> hope he doesn't try this again. Hello. Bro got a spear. I wonder what he's doing right now. Yeah, seems about right. He just left the server because it was not Virginia. You know, I wonder if that fight actually landed me any XP. So I'm gonna get a boulder real quick. One. Oh, that gave me enough to level. Uh, let's see. Fast blade. Uh, neuroplasticity. I'm gonna. You know, I I am going shadow cast. So that this would be a pretty good thing to get first. Let me go freeze fast blade and get neuro. I'm gonna have some massive shadow guns. Oh, Eureka. Uh, is that good? I never actually noticed Eureka like ever. But that's probably because I don't even look at my ether bar. And uh, since all of these kind of suck, I'm gonna just roll two. Command, run. Ether absorption. Arthur Yagen. Hello, Arthur Yagen. I'm going to kill you. Oh, wait. Yo, is that the freaking Clarice build? <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Dude, what the? What? <laughs> hey, what the hell? You're a void walker, bro. What are you doing? Analyze final. Th Dude, why is there so many void walkers going after me? What did I do, bro? Are you gonna say anything? Okay. How do. I'm wearing a void walker outfit. How do you mistake me for a bounty? Well, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe I'll go find another bounty. <laughs> Dragon Vendet. Oh, wait, no. I picked like a four star guy. He would not be a fresh you of a battle axe. Oh, never. Maybe it was him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe the fresh you of the battle axe is a three star bounty. I mean, four star bounty. Was it four star or three star? Nah, no way. I got short term memory loss. You know what? I'm just gonna yoink. <laughs> yeah. I am a void walker. Don't worry. You will be gripped soon enough. Ow. Mm, yes, very clean bounty. Didn't get hit once. <laughs> Actually, maybe I did get hit by that one shadow guy, but not by my bounty. And while I'm here, before I forget, I'm gonna go take the, uh, do the Alita quest. Hello? Me? Oh. Hello there. Man, she still has the old outfit for, like, the Pathfinder Arc Sorcerer. That's not fair. I want that. Alright, here we go. Alright. This one's not her, this one's red. You know, I could just stand right here as one if I had the outfit, but as a, you know, not, it doesn't even exist anymore. Let's see, purple, no, 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 purple. All right, did I pass? Hello? Oh, there we go. Mist Assassin? No, no Mist Assassin, this is oh so sad. Well, now we can go get Vision Shaper if we wanted to. Actually, wait, no, we still need a Dark Feather. Where can I find a Dark Feather without waiting around in Upper Aresia for five years? Alright guys, new plan. I'm going to be going to Hive, and I'm gonna go kill that one Static Spawn Owl that sits there. Alright, here we are at Hive. I haven't had the need to fight an Owl for a while, so I, I wonder if I can still perfect one. Hello? Oh, somebody already took it. Maybe they dropped an owl feather around here? Let me see. Nope. Alright, well, let me server hop real quick. Is the owl here? Hello? You should be right here, right? Here, maybe he's shy. I'll walk around the corner. Alright, how about now? No? I honestly thought that would work. Oh, I hear something. Oh, someone's already fighting the owl. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna ask him for the feather. Yo, yo, dude. Oh, feather, right here. Easy. Did he leave? Huh, didn't even get to thank him. Well, we got ourselves a dark feather. Time to go down to the depths. Now, there is a bit of a problem with me getting Vision Shaper right now. And uh, that's how am I going to get past the giant corrupted spider? Ow, rude. Like, I'm going to be honest. I never took the time to learn the spider's moveset because it was just better to just stat check him. Nah, who died to the jellyfish, bro? Alright, who is this? Eline Theseus, bro. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Wow, I have really good stealth. I might just be able to... Oh, hey! Holy, bro. Don't scare me like that. Well, guys, turns out my stealth was not so good. I should be able to take a shark over. I'm not that bad at the game. Okay, this might take a second. Yo, how many hits does this guy take? Oh, posture break. Hey, let's go. Black Diver. Ooh. I mean, that's not bad. Well, time to go back to finding the spider. Five minutes later. Gotta try my best to not get killed. Oh, hey, it's empty. Nice. Hello, Surge. Many dwell in this lair for the sole purpose of getting stronger. They fail to realize the true reward of the hunt. The hunt? The hunt is a game of deception, my friend. Power is an illusion woven by the charismatic. Those owls, have you seen them? A true hunter would understand what lies beyond such power. Okay. Perhaps you are ready after all. Oh, I wonder, uh, I wonder what's out here. Oh, that's, that's not what I remember. <laughs> okay. Dude, this is really bright with max graphics. Let me turn this down real quick. Alright, there we go. Wow, everything looks so plasticky. Hello, hive mind. Ah, oh, the mouse seeks a covenant with my kind. Alright, let me just skip for your dialogue real quick. There we go. Vision shaper. Alright, guys, we did it. We got the purple eyes. Wait, that's not purple. Okay, now my eyes are purple. Alright, time to head back up to the surface. You know, I would go hunt corrupted owls for uh, void feathers right now. But, uh, you know, um... I'm just uh, not feeling like it. I'm actually a bit, uh, I have a small headache, uh, guys. I'm actually, maybe I can go farm like the regular owl spawn at Hive for uh, the void feathers because I don't know why. Every time I tried to get like a regular dark feather there on some other slot for like armor schematics, I always get a void feather. Oh, my mouse is bugging out. Did you guys hear that hit? I just like smacked my mouse on the table. There's stenches already. Nauseating. Well, I mean, to be fair, he is talking about deep open players. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, now that we have the purple eye and the funny squiggly thing, we only need one more thing to finish up the appearance, and that's the armor. Alright, so if I remember correctly, it's in like some random roof of a building in Etris, and I can just buy the schematic there for 45 notes or something like that. Get up here. Skeptic Pioneer, Experienced Adventurer. Shadow Hunter, no, neither of these. Is this it? Oh, Pathfinder Arc Sorcerer. 45 notes, I somehow remembered that. I wonder if I can use the blacksmith here, so even though I'm hated. Uh, nope, never mind, I guess I'm not using the blacksmith here. Alright, let me cash in the schematic real quick. What do I need for this? 5 cloth, 5 fiber, 10 ifferene, strange claw, and a lionfish scale. And you have to be power level 10, oh come on! Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do a bit of leveling up first. Ido DC. Alright, come on, let's go. This guy has a whole enchant. Huh, I thought he had master armor on, not gonna lie. Oh, but that always works, the stupid crit. Ooh, he tried it on me. Dark blade. Crit. Oh, he, he actually dodged it. Oh, I'm on his head. I'm on his head. And another guard break. And another guard break. GG's. If you're new to Deep Oak and you gotta try like the parry into R thing, it works way too well. Well, I mean, it doesn't really work on people above like 1500 ELO ish, but it sometimes still works, I guess. Oh, wait. Came here for XP. Is that good or bad? I forgot. They made so many updates to this thing, I don't even know anymore. You take 20% less damage from the element, the same element as the last element you were hit with. Wait, I'll be honest, Ever's Changing Ages sounds pretty good for uh, 1v1s, just because you're going to be mostly fighting the same attunement. So yeah, I'm actually going to try and take that. Alright, now I'm 14 points away from the armor. I got a blast spark from that guy, so I'm going to quickly go upgrade my shadow gun. Put that right there. Blast spark. 
And uh, sure, I'll add on a Stratus Stone, why not? All right, much better. It could use like a perfect lens, but uh, it'll do for now. Arlo's coat off. I'm sorry, man, but I'm like one level away from my armor. Was that him? Wait, what the hell? Is he carrying somebody? Oh, that's just a ministry guy. Could have sworn I picked a higher level bounty than this. Not just a guy in a battle axe. With a battle axe. Nope, that's not him. <laughs> Wait, I'm dumb. He was a void walker. <laughs> no wonder that guy mistook me for his target. I think that's him. But there is a mud skipper fighting me, so. Yep, that's Carlos. He has an enforcer's axe. That's crazy. Yo, man. Let's go. Carry. Okay. I'm just spam M1ing and it's working pretty well. Let's see what's this guy gonna do. Ooh, I hit that crit. Shadow gun. Dodge. Ooh. Hit with a shadow gun. Never mind, he dodges it. Ah, I thought the spin around will work. Dodge. You can't just try a strong left like that, bro. That's not gonna work out. Ooh. Maybe he can just try a strong left. Oh, that was hyper armor. Parry. Ooh, guard break. I gotta use that more sparingly. People keep expecting it now. Oh no! This is why I hate fighting Enforcer's Axe crits. Whew. Actually parried that time. Nice shadow gun. Oh, guard break. Oh? Yo, I think that axe don't- I accidentally missed an M1 that actually screwed him up. Parry. Dodge. My weapon's faster, so you can't just try and take the initiative. It's actually pretty bad for him to do that. Nice. GG's. And that should be enough to get me to the next level, right? Ooh, two-star flamekeeper. Alright, let me get my level up. There we go. Ooh, fresher scales. Perfect flash. Hmm. I mean, perfect flash would be good for if I'm just like running in like to a big group of people and I'm just like bah! and I deal like a bunch of damage before the fight even starts so I'll take it endurance runner oh that's really good uh I'll freeze this though that's 5 HP endurance runner is basically a must have ah command fight or overflowing dam I'm gonna take overflowing dam for now I don't have any vowels made and whispers Ooh, wait shoulder bash might be good yeah, sure, I'll take Shoulder Bash, why not? Alright, now that we're level 10, we can actually go and make the armor. So, if we're in, I can just go quickly grab at Aresia. Yo, check out this outfit, though. That looks kinda nice, I'm gonna keep this on. Is that the guy I just fought? Oh no, he's using a greatsword. If that is him, I'm not even trying to kill him this time, I'm just gonna go grab my Ifrine and leave. You know, I just realized... I forgot to get the extra cards on my Moth build, I'll go do that later. Oh, wait, I need a strange call. Come here. Hello. There we go. Okay, there we go. Strange claw. And now, for the amethyst. Wait, not the amethyst, the ifarine. I read that out the chest. Two. Three. Four. Five. I swear, I'm gonna mess up counting somehow and I'm gonna get clowned for it. Oh, wait. I got pure Ifarine. Alright, we have enough now. Time for the Lionfish Scale. Why am I getting a sense of deja vu? And also, <laughs> I think I just scared that freshie into leaving. Probably should not have pulled out my weapon like that. I'ma head over to the Aerotel Sea because that's where the most Lionfish spawn. I don't think Lionfish spawns like in Etrian Seas, right? Even though they move like a bunch of the events over here, I don't think they move the Lionfish over. Which is probably for the better, since there are a lot of freshies who will just get terrorized by lionfishes. Any lionfishes about? There's a lot of merchant boats. But I'm kinda broke, so... You know what, might as well check it out. Glad to see they fixed the whole hole being gone. Ooh, they got a rifle spear here. 
So they were lying when they said they upgraded like all the loot, but uh, I already have a rifle spear, so I'm not even gonna need that. Drift! Drift! Oh! Hello? Lionfishes? Man, I swear, they always come when you don't want them to. Like on my fancy boats with the ironclads and whatnot. Are the lionfishes not spawning because my boat's too bad or something? Are they that stingy? Come on, man, my sloop is just as delicious as an ironclad. Alright, fine then, I'll buy a better boat, lionfishes. What? Oh, come on, I'm free notes off. Is there seriously, like, no lionfish anywhere? Five minutes later. Guys, I think I thought of a brilliant plan to get myself a lionfish. I just need a few materials first. Huh. I wonder who that's for. Let me get some bamboo real quick. Grab this. A little more bamboo. Let me s oh, never mind. I can't spawn down my base. Where can I spawn down my base? Maybe, uh, right here. Eh. Right here. <laughs> this is a bit of an odd place to put a base, but whatever. Oh. Let me in. Yeah. Ah, come on. There we go. First, I gotta make this bamboo into fiber. And then make this fiber and sticks into a fishing rod. It is now time for the most interesting aspect of the Woken. Oh, I already got one? Come on. Oh, come on. I thought it was a lionfish or how hard I was pulling. This is just so entertaining. Oh! What the hell? What was that? Alright, hold on. I'm pulling out the auto clicker. I'm not gonna miss any catches now. Here we go. Oh, yep, this is much better. Much better for catching. Oh, come on! Another red snapper. Bro. Stop giving me sea bases, I want a lionfish. This is true reaction speed testing. Parrying? Nah, that's lame. Oh, chest. Ooh, almost fell off. What do you got? What is this? Is this from like, Miner's Landing or something? Well, you know, I don't really get it. Lionfishes don't spawn around this region, but you can fish them up only here. That's kind of weird. Alright, alright. Oh no. No, not, <laughs> not fishing lag. I'll get back to you guys once I get a lionfish. Or maybe I get some chests. I'll show that too. That'd be cool. You know what? Let's go into a bit of a time lapse of just me fishing. <laughs>
Dude, was it really that easy? It's been like not even 30 seconds in the void sea and one already spawned on me, bro. Oh, perfect. I've learned your patterns, Lionfish. No way, bruh. Well, it looks like I gotta keep driving. My quest for a lionfish scale continues. And also, I would just like to say this color looks very cool. Oh, another lionfish. I was tabbed off, bro. You know, I just thought about something. I completely forgot about the depths having lionfishes. Oh, finally. Alright, guys. Looking back, I could have avoided half an hour of fishing. But hey, at least we got like 3 points of fortitude out of it. Let me just void eye back real quick. Now, we can finally craft the stupid armor. Boom. There we go. I'm just thinking whether I should keep on like the arms or not. Because that's that still looks very cool with like the Prophet's Cloak design. Yeah, I'll go turn it off to see what it looks like without the armor on. Toggle. Huh. I mean, it's not bad, but it's like, you know, very 2D, which makes sense since it's like a texture. I think I'm gonna keep this on. It just looks kind of better that way, what do you guys think? Oh yeah, and I didn't even mention the stats of the armor. 10% physical, 10% lightning, 10% ice, and 25% elemental. Which basically means that I just gotta parry M1s and uh, I can just kinda tank mantras mostly. Alright, let's head back to the overworld. Oh yeah. I forgot about this part. Ah! <laughs> Great timing, lionfish. You know, where were you when I was fishing, huh? Well, I guess there's only one way out of this situation. Murder! Oh, wow, I just- I just boing. Well, anyways, what I meant by that is I'm gonna go take a bounty, kill him, so that I can finally uh, set my void eye somewhere that isn't, you know, the void sea. What, what the hell? Why do people keep trying to attack me in the void seat this episode, bro? Oh. What's up with this? Oh, shoulder bash. Oh, bit of a combo going. Guard break. I can really see the way of Navi nerf this update. What, what are you doing, dude? Why? <laughs> this is the second time I got attacked in the Void Eye this episode. And third time if you count as anywhere in the Void I mean, anywhere in the Overworld I got attacked by a Void Walker. Well anyways, back to what I was doing. Violet Ashy. Oh, this is Isles of Vigils. And yes, I do know I don't have to kill the person. But like, come on, I'm doing a bounty, I might as well kill the guy. Plus, I do need 50 Fortitude right now, and I'm 4 points off. Oh, hey, an artifact. Oh, wait, that's the guy I need to kill. Hey, man. Hello. I'm sorry to interrupt your uh, food eating, but I do gotta kill you for a bounty. Hit him with the Dark Blade. With that? Oh, he's also Shadow Cat. That's cool. He already has Shade Ringer. I only have 10 in Shadow Cast right now, dude. Nice, guard break. GG's. Sorry, by the way. For interrupting your food time. I misspelled that horribly. Myth's bandana. I got like a do-rag. And three mushroom omelets. Oh, he was probably eating these. Whoops. Feel kind of bad about that one. But according to the bounty stars, he's supposed to be decently leveled. More leveled than me, so I don't feel too bad about that one. Yo, what? <laughs> Punchy's name is Commander Punch. Yo, I wonder if he has a new main slot or something. I want to see that. Maybe he's going to make a video on it. And also, can I just say, like, this outfit just looks so nice with, like, the gold. It's like the gold peeking out from the... Whatever this outfit's called. Ministry garb. But yeah, I guess this is a pretty good point to end the first episode. So if you guys want to see the second episode, please subscribe. And yeah, bye-bye.